Today I'll be showing you how to add more games to your Super Nintendo Classic Mini or Super Famicom Mini. I'm using the Super Famicom Mini, but this tutorial is the exact same for the other mini consoles. Let's begin. At this time you will need a computer running Windows to complete this tutorial. First we'll need to download HackG2. I'm using the CE version because it is in my opinion the most stable release with added features. Once the file is done downloading, extract it. Open the folder and open hackcheat.exe to run hackcheat2. Now select your console. Select SNES if you're using the SNES Classic Mini. Since I'm using the Japanese version, I'll select Super Famicom. Hit OK. You should now see the list of original games on the left panel. Now go to Kernel, Dump Kernel, and hit Yes. Now we will need to connect our console to the computer. You can use the micro USB cable included with your mini. You will hold the reset button and then power on the console. If this is your first time, you also need to hit install driver and it will install itself. So connect your mini, hold the reset button, and power on the device. Hackcheat should start running and you can release the reset button. Once it's done, hit OK. A new folder called dump should have been created in the Hackcheat folder. Inside the dump folder is the original kernel for your console. I recommend you back up this file because you could use it to restore your console to the original state if anything bad ever happens. Now go back to Hackcheat and go to kernel, flash custom kernel, and hit yes. Once that is complete, we can add our games. First you'll need to download the ROM files of whatever game you want to add. I have my games ready. Now we'll hit add more games. Add your ROMs. You do not need to extract it if they are in a zip file. The new games will show above the original games. Select the game and you'll be able to edit the details including the box art, title, publisher, release date, and more. To add a custom box art, just hit browse and select your image file. What I like to do is highlight all of the new games and right click it and download the box arts for selected games. You can see all the box arts have been added. Now we'll hit synchronize select games. You can see how much memory is available on the bottom status bar. The sync is now complete. We can test it out. All of the new games have been added to a new folder. If you want to have all of the games in the same page, just keep watching the video. I'll now show you how to add additional games. It's easy. Open up Hacksheet, hit add more games, and add your new ROMs. Then download the box arts. I'm also going to change the folder structure under the settings, page slash folder structure, and I'm going to disable it so all the games will be available on the same page. 
Now hit sync, connect your mini, and turn it on. That's it. If you want to disable that ugly hack cheese splash screen, go to settings, boot splash, disable boot splash. Now let's test it out again. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out.